Stephen Official. My name is Brittany Jackson. May I have your account number, please? Hey, Brittany, how you doing today? Good. Um, loan number 00397. I mean, just one second, I'm going to have to transfer because I don't handle those accounts, okay? All right, where are you transferring me to? Um, to the Mortgage Services Department. Okay. Do you have a direct number for them? No, oh, I just have a, a drop line to them. Oh, you do? Okay. It's the same 800 number, but I'll make sure someone's on the phone before I transfer you so that way you don't get lost. Hang on just a second. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling HFC Beneficial. This is Lindsay. Can I help you? Sure. How you doing, Lindsay? Good. And yourself? Very, very good. Um, I'm actually uh, following up to see if my authorization is on file that I faxed um, over 72 hours ago. Okay, give me a moment and I'll look and see if I can find it for you. Thank you. Welcome. On every file in our office, um, everyone has authorization to speak to the lender. Um, so if someone else is out one day, the other person could follow up on it. So that's the key right there, especially to to the way we fill out our authorizations. We make sure everyone in this office um, is authorized to speak. Do you know where you uh, faxed it to? Uh, yes, I faxed it to 606 862 3162. Okay, and give me just a moment. Let me log in and see if they've scanned it into the system yet, okay? All uh, right. Do you guys have some sort of e-fax type thing where it just goes right to the person who's handling that account? Mm -mm. No? So it goes into a general box? Uh-huh. All righty. Just a moment. Thank you. See, that's important to note right there. Um, that's how we keep a log, a log of our lender profiles. So right after we're done speaking, um, to this lender, we're going to log it into our lender profiles. That's really important right there. So authorizations are sent into a general, I'll put box but area, box or area. So guys and gals, this is one thing that you have to do. You keep running notes for each and every lender. This will allow you to set expectations uh, with our buyers, with our sellers, with our real estate agents, with everyone that's involved in the process. Uh, that's extremely, extremely important. And you said you just sent that just a few days ago? Uh, yes, I did. I sent it actually on the 16th. Yeah, and they told me to uh, put it extension Sheila Day. Is she a loss mitigator or is she just a setup rep? I honestly don't even know the name. Okay. How many loss mitigators do you have working um, in your department? As far as I know, there's no one that works for loss mid that's here in the London, Kentucky site, unless they've just recently started doing it. But there, there's never been anybody from loss mitigations here. All right. I'm working on a file that's in default. Did I even fax it to the correct fax number? I'm trying to look and see. Okay. He would have he would have scanned it either way it went. Okay. Um. The only thing was showing um, dated for around um, the 16th of this month was just a letter that was sent out to the customer. Um, here, let me check a couple of other. Had you sent it any before then? No, that was the first time we actually got the file on our desk. And let me ask you a question. What was the letter that was sent to the customer? I can't give she's you that not, kind of information. Okay. I wanted to see. She's Without not supposed to give me that information. Without an to speak with you. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the, the fastest way for me to put a, an authorization on file? Um, it should have came through on that. And you said you sent it on the 16th, right? Yeah, I had fax confirmation on my end also. Give it a couple of extra days because we're... I'm not sure if he was in the mailroom on Monday. Um, give it, give it until the end of this week to give him time, um, because if he had a lot of stuff come in over the weekend and he wasn't here, if he had a lot of stuff come in, what he has to do, he has to get it off the fax machine, then he has to scan it onto a, um, a company-wide um, sheet so that everyone can access it. So if you've sent it and you've got the confirmation that it should have came through here, and he, he usually gets it done as soon as he can. It just depends on how backed up he is. But now I don't see anything on it um, as of this month. No. Okay, you said something important there. Do you guys actually have...
hard faxes, or do you guys use some sort of e-fax system? Oh, we um, we use a hard fax, and then we scan it into an internal program so that it's viewable. Okay, so obviously um, with that system, you guys could have um, some possibly fall fall through the cracks, right? I mean, it, it's always a possibility with anything that's happening, but usually everything's on here, and anything else that's ever been sent on the account. Um, Okay. Since Which, the program opened this year, it, it's on here. So. Okay, so it's one centralized area that all fax numbers go through, whether it's in default or not. Is that correct? No, just for the just for the account that you gave us. That's for the um, collection site in London, Kentucky. Okay, so that's collections, and that has to do with that. As soon as it gets to a loss mitigation department, okay, you, they'll be able to access their, uh, an authorization that's on file, correct, through this system? Uh, yeah, they should be able to. I mean, I can give you their number if, if you want to contact them, but they should be able to pull it up on that system just as anyone else in the company should be able to access it. Now, would, it would it make any difference if I put an authorization on file w directly with their department? Um, you can try it. I, I don't know that it would make a difference. I mean, you can try it, though. All right, what's their fax number? Let me pull it up. Because right here, we'll actually put it on file with both departments to make sure we um, they don't miss our facts. As you can see, we're very thorough in this <coughs> office, and we make sure that uh, things get done right away so we don't waste any time later on. Um, there's no way we're waiting till the end of this week to follow up again to see if an authorization to file. What we'll do is refax uh, one to this fax number, the same fax number we, we uh, faxed to, and also to the directly to the loss mitigation department. We don't like doing things uh, two, three times in this office. Right now we're actually doing things two times, which um, we don't like doing. Um, but again, um, sometimes it happens that is way. Is this for a short sale? This is for a short sale, yes. Okay, just a moment. So they obviously have a department uh, where authorizations go for just short sales. Okay. Only. And do you know who you were, who was it that you said you were speaking to? Uh, we spoke we spoke to a customer service. I, I believe it was a customer service um, woman, and she gave us the name Sheila Day. Okay. Now I don't know a Sheila. Have you worked with maybe an Andrea Walsh, Mark Tracy, or Jerry? Um, no. I'm going to give you their fax number. Okay. And they they work on short sales. Now, is this, on a first, this is a first mortgage, right? Yes, it is. Okay, that would be the difference. I don't know if they can work out the short sale with us because we usually, in this site, we do second mortgages and um, non-secured debt. Um, but you can fax it to our short sale department, and it's the same, area code 606-862-3163. Yep. Um, and you can put that in attention to Andrea. Walsh. Andrea Walsh. But you just said that um, she typically handles second mortgages, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't know, honestly, if they've taken over the first one because there's been a lot of changes that's come about in the last month. Okay. Um, I don't know if she's doing them on the first. She may be. Okay. Okay. Um, but she may, if, if, even if not, she should be able to get you through to the correct person to speak with. All right. Does she have a phone number also, or just the fax number would be... You can call this same number, and I can fax you over the same 866 number you called. Okay. And her extension is 3098. 3098. Yeah, and I can go ahead and transfer you to her voicemail. All right, thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, right now, I'm not going to leave a message. I'm actually going to hang up because it's going to be a waste of my time. But um, what we're going to do, okay, is we're going to follow up. I'm going to punch it into our Manage My Short Sale um, account. So I'm going to fax it into both of those fax numbers, the same one we faxed to before. The, into the new fax number, and that's what we're going to do. We'll pick up on the next, uh, obviously, documentary, part three. Okay, guys, um, that's it. Um, you guys have a great week, and we'll follow up on Friday, so in about three days. Have a good one.